more fun than movies this is trailer told a youtube channel in the world thank you for clicking check out the playlist for a different video subscriptions are a big boost hey everyone my name is jason i'm the community manager at nuggets entertainment and we've recently just revealed our game among the wild at the pc gaming show which you may have heard of and you may have seen the trailer for and if you haven't i'll leave it in the cards up here so you can check it out and the response to our game is amazing there's been a lot of people who've been showing interest, expressing their interest in uh, signing up for the closed alpha, which you can do right now on our website, amongthewildgame.com. We're aiming for the closed alpha to kick off hopefully later this year. And also our Steam store page is live and a lot of people have been wishlisting that as well. So you can do that too. I'll leave a link in the description below. And we're like over 34,000 wishlists now uh, at the time of recording, which is incredible. So. Thank you all for that. Now you might be wondering what even is Among the Wild? We've seen the trailer, it looks kind of cute creatures, all that kind of stuff, but, but what is the game actually even about? And so I went on Twitter and Discord and asked you all to ask us questions about the game so that we could answer it, so that you could learn a little bit more about Among the Wild uh, and get a better idea of what you might be, you know, what might be in store for you. So we'll dive into the questions in a second, but just a quick little introduction for who we are. We're Nuggets Entertainment. We're around 10 people, brand new independent studio in Kövde in Sweden. Uh, and you might also recognize me, some people might, from the old, some people might be, you're, you're the satisfactory guy, right? Where's the beanie, <laughs> you know? Um, and if that's the case, it's true. I used to do community management for the game Satisfactory. Uh, I also do like Twitch stuff, so you might know me from there as well. But I'm here helping out my buddies at uh, Nuggets Entertainment, working part-time as a community manager here as well. So I'm here to help you guys, help the communication between Nuggets and you all, even though they're gonna be involved in that as well. And I think it's gonna be a great time as we sort of build this community together and build the game alongside all of y'all. So with that, let's get into the questions and the answers. I'll A the cues. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on, on YouTube. That sounds a little bit wrong. So maybe we cut that. <laughs> First question, can I pet the little ugly creatures? Unfortunately, no, you can't pet me, but you can pet the cute little creatures in the game, but there might be some that you don't want to pet. Oh, and rocks, you can pet rocks. How much will the game focus on decorating the farm slash house? This actually completely depends on you. It, the game is definitely one of those kind of games where you can just endlessly decorate things and tweak things and refine your farm to make it look and feel exactly how you want. But also if you just want pure functionality, you can just go for that as well. So it's, it's just kind of up to you. How in depth is the building system? Is there a structural integrity mechanic. The building mechanic is pretty in-depth, so when it comes to like building houses or anything like that, you, you would build it piece by piece, like little floor tiles and then walls and then roofs, and you can rotate things and snap things and things like that. But then of course there are other buildings that are like, like the fermenter or like beehives or something like that. You don't construct those piece by piece, they're just solid objects. So that's kind of how that works. Currently there's no structural integrity mechanic in the game, and it is something that the team does kind of want to explore and see if we want in the game or not. But it is one of those mechanics that in theory sometimes sounds a little better than it is because when you implement it it can sometimes be a little bit too disruptive and distract you from the kind of experience that the game is trying to create for you and so it sort of depends right so we'll have to see if it fits well into the game then maybe we can have it but if it's if it's distracting too much from what the player should be doing then it's probably just better to let people free build and not really worry about the structural integrity too much will multiplayer be considered at some point so some of you may have seen in our faqs on our website or in the discord or around the place that among the wild is actually going to be a single player game and so a lot of people have, of course, asked why isn't it multiplayer and will it be multiplayer at some point? Because I, I sort of agree with you. I can, I can absolutely see this kind of game. It could be a multiplayer game, right? So I totally see where you're coming from in that regard. And so I think that this conversation is probably going to be one that's going to be ongoing between the community and the team here for some time, I assume. But as it is right now, the team does want to create a single player experience. That is their goal. And they have a couple reasons for it. And I can lay a couple of them out for you now. The first reason is that the game is actually really, really complex. And so adding multiplayer is just going to slow down development um, or our ability to refine you know, the, the game's design or even finish the game at all. And just keep in mind that the, the team here is still pretty small. It's just 10 people making the kind of game that they kind of want to make, right? So this is, this is just one sort of like logistical or practical reason. But then the second reason is that the team has always envisioned the game to be a single player game. That has always been their goal was to make a single, a well-refined single player experience. Um, and when I play the game, personally, I don't think it necessarily needs multiplayer. I think that they really are getting 
you know, the, the kind of experience that they that they wanted to create. We don't really believe that every game has to have the same features as every other game, even if they kind of look the same. And then even if we were to start adding multiplayer now, then I think we would then have to start adding other multiplayer-like features that other people would expect. And then I think that the identity of, of the, the original game starts to diminish um, after that kind of thing as well. I think maybe a good analogy is also that if you look at a game kind of like Stardew Valley, which is now it has multiplayer and for quite some time with mods it had multiplayer and many people maybe even like it with multiplayer but initially it wasn't designed to be multiplayer even though it could be played you know as a multiplayer game and it could be fun as a multiplayer game and despite that it was still very fun as a single player game and, and so many people all, all over the world fell in love with that kind of game despite it only being a single player game because it was crafted to be one. This is the, the same kind of approach that the team is taking here with this game. They're not trying to make a multiplayer game with multiplayer ripped out of it so that it's devoid of, I don't know, purpose or something. They're making a sim single player game that should stand on its own as a single player game. That is, that is the goal, right? So I think it's probably a good idea, you know, whenever you get cr people who are really creative working on you know, a vision that they really have, a strong vision that they have. I think it's always better to just let them cook uh, and, and trust in their ability to create something that is special to them. But at the same time, I know that the team is not completely closed off to the idea of multiplayer. So as we move forward, it's, it's, I think it's gonna be an ongoing discussion. Have some faith in them, let them cook a little, and we'll see where it goes, especially when the closed alpha runs around, we'll see how it feels. How many creatures are planned for the game? There are currently seven tameable creatures in the game right now, and then there are also like some other critters that are in the world as well. Uh, and then there's also plans to add more creatures, but also like subspecies variations as well. And you might also have noticed in the trailer itself, there's also like little baby and like mature versions of the creatures that we have right now too. So they, they sort of grow up, you know, things like that. Speaking of the creatures, I think it might be a fun idea to just run through all the creatures that we've revealed, and we'll, I'll give you the, the names that we have for them right now. Uh, but these are sort of also just work in progress names, so if you if you all have like other names you want to suggest, you can leave them in the comments below or go to our Discord. I think there might be some forum posts and stuff. And share your name ideas, and maybe we'll use those instead. Okay, so let's uh, let's run through the creatures. Krober, Rocco, Pufflin, Baller, Duck. I'm missing one. Bowler? 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 Ba ba Boole. And then there's one more. Oh, Wooly? Wooly's one of them. Wooly. We don't have like thousands of creatures in our game. Uh, we have like seven species right now. Uh, but the point of Among the Wild is not to amass creatures like some other games, maybe like in, in Pokemon or something. Uh, instead, each creature has a pretty big impact on your farm. So it's not so much about having, you know, hordes of creatures. It's about like the personal connections that you create with each individual creature that you that you tame and you bring back to your farm. That's that's the like the core, that's where the magic happens in Among the Wild, it's, it's actually pretty fun. What do we call the creatures? In Pokemon, they're Pokemon, and in Pal World, they're Pals. We just call them creatures. What are some of the big inspirations for the game and how did you go about making it stand out from those inspirations? So the team has said that their inspirations come from games like Slime Rancher, Viva Piñata, and Stardew Valley, but it's not that they're, they are those games, but rather parts of those games have inspired Among the Wild. What we believe is really special about Among the Wild is the relationships that you create with your creatures. They all have their own sort of unique personalities and agency. And so you really are just, it says it in the name of the game, you're Among the Wild. You're not really their master or anything like that. They're just there, they're doing their thing. You need to learn about them and learn how to handle them. It's a pretty interesting experience. Will it be playable on Steam Deck console? Well, check this out. So we do absolutely aim to have it playable on Steam Deck, but it is too early on right now to say for sure whether or not we're gonna support it. But there is a strong will within the studio to have it run on the Steam Deck. There's a lot of folks here who love the Steam Deck. Uh, and as you can see, it is technically already running on it. So uh, I think the, the, the odds are pretty good to have it run on Steam Deck. And then as for console, the team also has an interest in having the game run on console as well. I know that controller support is something that is constantly kept in mind. I think also for the Steam Deck as well. So like that side of things is pretty good but right now the team really is just focusing on making sure that the game runs on windows first that is the primary goal right now get it on pc on windows and then like the other stuff is they're, they're more like nice to haves but um there's a strong will to to have it run on steam deck and consoles so we'll see will there be breeding rare colors or patterns 
We have played around with like breeding or inheritance systems before, so we'll sort of see what sort of makes it and what doesn't in that regard. Uh, and then as for different pa patterns or colors, we do currently have this like pattern system so that uh, that's being worked on. And so we'll see how that goes, but we can have, for example, like the little ballers, they can have different patterns on them um, that are kind of unique to themselves kind of thing. So you can kind of see which one is which. I think it's a really nice system. Uh, and so there might be something like that coming too. Yeah, I think it's a cool way to personalize each of the creatures. Do you have any plans to localize the game into other languages? Yes, we do plan on localizing the game into other languages. Uh, we can't really say right now exactly which languages will be localized to right now, but uh, for the closed alpha that we plan to do later this year, we definitely do want to have at least a rough pass of localization into some languages done at that point. And then hopefully at that point, we'll have some people who test the game in the closed alpha. Y'all can give us some feedback on what works and what doesn't and we'll sort of see how, where we go from there. But we're also interested in doing community-driven uh, localization as well. We've done that kind of stuff in the past and it's been pretty cool because we end up with passionate people who know the game really deeply and are able to really, really get into the nitty gritty to make sure that you know the localization is as top notch as it can possibly be. Uh, not only that, we end up getting more languages <laughs> localized as well. Um, so that could be really cool too. So we'll sort of see how it all plays out. We don't really know, we don't have anything locked down for, for sure, but uh, it's definitely something that we're gonna be working on. What engine are you making the game in and why? We're using Unreal Engine 5 and the answer is simply because it's a really, really good engine. It's great for what we need to, you know, for our game. Uh, but not only that, everyone here has a lot of experience with Unreal Engine from Unreal Engine 3 up until now, basically. So it's it was an obvious choice. Where did you come up with the idea? Uh, wait, just let me check my notes. Watching Minecraft videos. Will there be weather, seasons, biomes? Weather, yes, there is rain. You could see that in the trailer and there's currently nothing else. Uh, biomes, yes, there are different biomes. And seasons, this is not in the game yet, but it is something that we're testing soon. So we'll see how seasons work out in the game. Will there be aquatic stuff? You can catch crabs. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does sound very funny now when I say it out loud. You can catch crabs. You can though. The first time I caught a crab in the game, it was actually very cool. <laughs> yeah, it really was, actually. I know the game is a farm sim, but is there any story or lore in the game? Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Well, eagle-eyed viewers of the trailer might have seen that there was like a strange person at a store. That was kind of strange, right? Also, there was like that door at the end. What could it mean? What could it mean? Who knows? Are there gonna be potatoes? We used to have potatoes in the game before, but we unfortunately cut them because they were unfortunately tanking performance in the game. These potatoes were super beefy. And as you can see here in a comparison between potatoes and cabbages, we could definitely see, uh, you know, uh, like a 10X improvement here with cabbages. So we, the team has opted to go with cabbages instead of potatoes. So uh, it's not looking great for potatoes. However, uh, that footage was taken on Unreal Engine 4. The team has since migrated Unreal Engine 5. Maybe there've been better um, performance enhancements maybe with like Nanite or, or Lumen or something like that when it comes to potatoes. So we can give it another shot, but uh, currently there are no potatoes. Will there be a hunting component or only peaceful herding? It's not completely decided if it will be 100% peaceful or not. Uh, there are a couple hunting or trapping ideas that we're currently exploring, and we just need to see if they feel right or not. Will there be Steam achievements? Most likely, but not until 1.0. Is the map a static map or procedurally generated? Currently the map is procedurally generated with a seed. Can you cut down trees? Do they regrow? Yes. Yes, you can cut them down and right now they don't regrow, but I'm pretty sure that they will. They they should regrow. It's just not in yet. Can the creatures get sick? Yes, they can. And you can see in this little video here, the baller is sneezing a little bit sick. Oh. Will the creatures have unique and varied personalities? How much attention do those creatures need? Yes, creatures can have unique and varied personalities and they need a lot of attention. And this is the core mechanic of Among the Wild. The creatures have certain traits based on their species, but also traits for each individual creature as well, which can make them quite unique. That also means it's your job as a player to figure out what the likes and dislikes and the needs are of every individual creature and find out how to accommodate that into your farm. How big will the survival aspects be? Will there be hunger, thirst, energy. So apart from the needs for the creatures that I just mentioned before, uh, there won't be any other survival mechanics, not really even for your, your player. Like the player has a stamina thing um, that you need to sort of keep an eye on, but that's it basically. Can the creatures drown? No, Simon already tried. What can you tell us about the player character? Do they have a name? Uh, well, we call them the Wrangler because they wrangle creatures basically. So we call them the Wrangler and currently there's not really a lot known about them except for hello, that mask and that poncho looks so good and I want them, <laughs> I, wa I want those things in my life uh, if, I, if I can. 
that's all we know about the uh, the Wrangler. I need an explanation of what happened to the creature in the reveal trailer at one minute and 34 seconds. I don't know, it became pizza dough, I guess. It happens, no big deal. Could you introduce us to the team? Oh sure, we can do that, yeah, let's do it. Hey everyone, I'm Simon, I'm tech artist. Hello everyone, my name is Marie, I do 3D art. Hello everyone, my name is Christopher, I do animation. Hey everyone, I'm Stefan, I do programming. My name is Marcus, I do programming. Hello everyone, my name is Emil, I am a designer. Hello everyone, my name is Christopher, I do programming. Hello everyone, I'm Big Boss Man Tim, and this is my house. Hello everyone, I am both Dennis and Ines. We're Ghostwood Empire, and we compose music and sound design. So that's about it. My name is Jace. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, wishlist the game on Steam. So, yeah, take care. Bye. So that's about it. My name is Jace. Don't forget to shit. Right? Okay. <laughs> don't forget. Don't forget. True.